so here are some uh, nice voicings using uh, the open string E. And then, uh, so here is C7. With a G in the bottom. And we can just take, since it's a symmetrical scale, it's nice to have an open string, right? Because you can just include that in every chord since it's since it's a mirror image, you know, scale. So this is a C7 over G with the open E string, and then we move that up a minor third, we get E flat seven with the E, which would make it E flat seven flat nine. up another th minor third to F sharp 7. And you get this doubling which is very sonorous and then up another minor third to A which is really nice. That E flat one is really nice. So I wanted to write down um, a bunch of voicings that use open strings, and that's what you have here up on the left right there, uh, your right, my left. Uh, and um, these are included in the materials that, that are uh, in the Dropbox folder. So first I just did a uh, 2516 in C major, and then I did 2516 in A flat major. So here you have uh, D minor. Then you have I'm calling that G7 because a lot of times I don't put the root in my chords. I'll put the flat 9 in this case. So it it looks like it's like an A flat it looks like it's kind of an A-flat chord, but in my mind I'm thinking that this is G7. That's the root, that's the flat 9. And then another variation of that. It's very beautiful. So you have D minor, and then G7, and then C major. It's so nice. And then here is A7. And then D minor again. And then G7. And then C major. And A7. And then D minor major, um, D half diminished. G7. <laughs> That's kind of a funky one with the flat, with the sharp 9, 13, and then C major 7. I use my thumb a lot. Um, it's an extra finger. Might as well use it, right? Okay, now here's some in B flat, uh, well, in A flat major, some 2, 5, 1, and 6. So here you have the 2-5, here you have the 2, B-flat minor, and here's my version of E-flat 7. I just think of this as E-flat 7 because I'm thinking of all these notes in relation to the 5 in my progression, B-flat minor to E-flat 7. So this is the flat 9, the 1. The uh, the uh, uh, sharp five, the flat nine, the sharp five, and then the flat nine. It's really it sounds, you know, like the the voicing itself is is pretty plain, right? It's just an E chord, but when you have it functioning as something else, then it gets a whole different quality. So then here's the A flat major, and here's the F7. OK, 
again, I have the third in the bass, and then these other, and here's the root, and here's the flat five and the flat nine. So it's really, it's really an F chord, because we're, really the progression we're doing is just that, two, five, one, six.